Hello guys, just a short video on how to use this rather special autopilot panel in this great little aircraft in X-Plane 11. Um, so let's just go right through the modes. I'm gonna roll the plane to the left and pitch down slightly and trim down slightly and now I'm gonna engage the autopilot and pick the first mode, the manual mode. Um, what this will do it is it will simply hold um, the roll angle, the roll angle, and the pitch angle at which I engage this mode. Okay, so if I disengage it and change my roll angle and my pitch angle and um, my trim setting as well, um, and then re-engage the autopilot, it will now simply stick to this position. Okay. It's pretty much the same as in the G1000 if you just press the autopilot button there without pre-selecting anything. Um, it will get you um, roll hold and pitch hold, just as in this plane. Okay. okay. Um, so um, the cool thing about this um, autopilot is though that you can use this knob here while being in this mode um, to adjust the roll angle. Okay. I can just turn this knob and now we'll keep this roll angle. Pretty cool. Um, the problem is that of course you might as well want to change your pitch angle, okay? And in this plane there are no nose up or nose down buttons, or there is no up, nose up or nose down button. Um, so if I want to change the pitch angle and, and try to do so by manually trimming down the plane, and you can hear that the autopilot will disengage, okay? Um, that brings me to the next problem, um, which is that even though the autopilot has just disengaged, this knob here has not switched back to the off position. So just by looking at this panel, I cannot tell if the autopilot is actually really engaged. There is, however, an indication to, um, to be sure um, if the autopilot is engaged and that is if you hover over this turn knob um, and you cannot select the the turn knob so I can only select the outer ring now I cannot select the turn knob then this means that the autopilot is um, in fact not engaged to show you what I mean I'm gonna switch back to off and re-engage the autopilot and um, now if I hover over the turn knob as you can see this little arrow appears now I can turn the knob and just to show it, um, that means that the autopilot is active, okay? Let me put this again in simple words. As long as you can hover over the turn knob to select it and to turn it, it means that the autopilot is actually active. All right, um, so there is however a way how you can change your pitch angle without having to leave the autopilot, okay? And the way you can do so is by using the control wheel steering function. So I don't know if there is a control wheel steering button in this or the real aircraft. However, you can use this function anyway in X-Plane by um, assigning this so-called so control wheel steering mode to a button of your joystick, which I do recommend to do so. And, and let me show you why. We're still in the autopilot, um, in this manual mode. It's holding the pitch and the roll angle. And if I now press and hold the control wheel steering button, um, the autopilot is temporarily bypassed. So now I can manually um, trim down the plane using the trim reel and um, watch the vertical speed. And if I let go of the control wheel steering button, it will now stick to this pitch angle. Okay. I just changed the pitch angle without leaving this mode. I just bypassed the autopilot and when I let go of the control steering button, um, it just sticked to this position. And as you can see, I hover over the turn up, the autopilot is still active. Just to make it more obvious, I can as well press and hold the control steering button and roll to the right and pitch up quite, uh, quite heavily. and. Um, wait for the for the uh, setting to stabilize and let go of the control wheel steering button and now it will stick to this position let me do it again roll to the right pitch down 
try to stabilize the setting, which is not so easy. Well. All right. Um, and it sticks to this, to this position. Okay, so that's a pretty handy feature um, of how to change your setting, your pitch and roll angle without um, having to, to disengage the autopilot, pitch down, re-engage it, um, pitch down again, re-engage it. You just stay in this mode all the time using the controller steering button. All right, um, so let's go to the next mode, heading. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, it, it'll simply follow your selected heading. If you pick a new one, it will hold this heading. Um, note that um, if you go to heading, um, then the resulting pitch mode is pitch hold again. Okay. Um, so as you can see, we're not, um, we didn't change the pitch mode just by going to heading mode. Okay. Um, the pitch mode stays the same. So again, if I wanted to, I can use the control wheel steering button um, to manually trim the plane up, release the control wheel steering button, and now we'll have a new pitch angle. All right. Um, one other thing, if I press and hold the control wheel steering button and turn to the left um, and leave the selected heading, um, if I let go of the button, it will now, of course, recapture this heading. It will all only um, memorize the new pitch angle that I have commanded. All right. Um, next mode, capture mode. That's pretty, uh, pretty much the same as um, the VOR localizer button in the 737, the Zebo mod. Um, so let's see if there is something close. We just pick this VOR station and. Let's see if we are, if we're receiving, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to capture and the plane should turn left, I guess. Um, yeah, and we'll just track down this VOR radial. And again, um, that does not change the pitch mode. The pitch mode will remain pitch hold. And again, if I wanted to, I could press and hold the control with steering button, trim up the plane to change pitch angle, release the button and um, we have a new pitch angle while the VOR radial is still being captured. Okay, if you go to track, um, this simply means that you can capture both localizer and glide slope. Um, the glide slope capturing feature, however, is not there in the real aircraft as mentioned in the manual. Um, However, you can use it in X-Plane, so you can do a full um, um, ILS approach. Um, bear in mind that there is, however, no uh, glide slope needle here, okay? Um, all right, so last but not least, um, what about altitude hold? Um, if you fly in one of these three modes, manual, heading, or um, capture mode, the plane will always be in um, pitch hold, as I just said, unless you just pick altitude hold. Then pitch hold will be overridden by altitude hold. As you can see, um, now it's holding the altitude. And altitude hold is the only um, vertical speed mode in this plane, okay? So what do I mean by that? Um, if I, let me go back to manual um, and the button disengaged, could re-engage it, now it will hold the autopilot, but if I um, disengage it, it will put the plane back in pitch hold. If I use the control with steering button again to trim up the plane or pitch it up and release the button, um, we have a new pitch angle, but that doesn't mean that it will hold the vertical speed. If I, just to make it sure, if I reduce the thrust um, it will hold the pitch angle, but the vertical speed will drop, okay? It's no vertical speed hold mode. It's just pitch hold, pitch angle hold. Okay, just to be sure. All right, I think that's it. Um, 
so just uh, keep those things in mind um, if you're not sure if the autopilot is actually engaged just hover over this knob and um, if you can select it um, that means that the autopilot is actual, actually active all right um, this down here by the way is no button or so um, even though there is this um, this hand symbol it will simply bring up this window um, that is uh, the trim indicator um, basically the same as this here in small and um, one thing that I think would be cool is um, if this knob just to give a, 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 a short feedback if this knob would turn back to off if for some reason the autopilot is disengaged so if you just for accident, for example, um, use the trim wheel and manually trim the plane, now the, the autopilot is disengaged and it would be cool if this knob would just switch back to off so that you can see um, that it has engaged. Um, one other thing that would be great is um, considering that there is a glide slope capture mode in this plane which, is n which there is not in the real aircraft, I think that um, a DME indicator would be reasonable too, all right? Because um, if there is no glide slope needle, um, and no GPS, um, you, you, you well, it would be much easier to navigate if you have a distance measuring instrument. Okay, that is just my thoughts. Um, okay, one last glance at this chart to give you the overview. Um, second let's just stabilize the plane I'm gonna repeat it put the plane in manual you get roll hold and pitch hold or altitude hold if you select it put the plane in heading mode you get heading select and pitch hold or altitude hold if you select it put the plane in capture mode it will um, capture a VUR radial or localizer and pull Put the plane in pitch hold or altitude hold if you select it. Put the plane in track mode and it will capture both localizer and glide slope. Thanks for watching and goodbye.